Early start this morning, uh, losing track of days, uh, but yesterday was uh, a rest day, so we only did like 30, 40k um, over to Port Alcudia um, and then uh, a bit inland, um, and yeah, start a lovely stop for lunch in uh, Palenza. Um, and yeah, right, we do this traditional thing uh, on there with Alba Racing where we, um, on the rest day, we dress up in our uh, shittest kit. Um, and yeah, here's a few photos from uh, from yesterday. Today, we're up early. Um, we're gonna try and do, well, we're heading over to Sacalabra. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a Sunday today. So we're thinking it might be busy on the climb with uh, like uh, tourist buses and stuff. So we're trying to get out early and see if we can kind of uh, miss all of that. 105K route today, 2000 meters of uh, elevation. Yeah, so not the hardest day, but uh, looking forward to doing uh, uh, Sacalabra. Oh, that does not sound good. These rear hangers going into the spokes. That will end your day very quickly. So the plan today is to ride the Col de Femenia. Nice and easy, a lot easier than uh, the other day. Cruise over and do an effort on uh, Sacalabra. So uh, see what the legs are saying, see what the sensations are. I've not done Sacalabra before. But yeah, apparently it's a beautiful climb, but not too difficult. So hopefully you have to get up it with no problems. How are you feeling, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, you'll be sweating in that jacket in a minute. Well, I don't know. I think I need to take this off. So we've climbed up the Col de Femenia uh, and now, uh, yeah, cycled along the ridge uh, and now just heading towards the Col de Reis. So yeah, so that's the top of the climb, which everyone calls uh, Sacalabra. And then we're gonna ascend that, turn right round and yeah, and uh, start the climb. So I think uh, the Sacalabra side of uh, the Col de Reis is nine and a half K with around, uh, I think it's like 670 meters of climbing. Uh, so that's an average gradient of about 7%. Maybe some ramps of 10% uh, in there, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much like doing Crestgeld in uh, Leeds like five or six times back to back. So yeah, not particularly hard, just a little bit longer than, I, than, I'm, than I'm used to really, these longer climbs. But yeah, nothing in compared to the, the stuff we did in Tenerife a couple of years ago, which were like 40 kilometer climbs at like 4%, which was just so boring so so boring two or three hours of climbing in a go is uh not what you want so yeah so i think today the legs are feeling all right actually so i think what i'm going to do take it steady to start off with uh easing into the climb and then uh see what see what my legs are saying afterwards and see if i can ratchet up there towards the end but yeah really key for today is enjoy it first time on the climb kind of sets a benchmark for uh next time yeah i really like this climb you see uh, the guys down there on the switchbacks. So they're nice and exposed. A lot of the other climbs there around here are a little bit more uh, sheltered and stuff. So you can't really kind of see the switchbacks and things. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful here. Yeah, How's good. the knee? Yeah, okay, okay. I think should be able to give it a bash, so happy. Probably start off like 310, 320 and see how I'll go. I'll be happy if I can hold anything for 300, to be honest, because my foot's been playing up recently, so we'll see. Lovely view. Shame, we now got to climb all the way back up there. 
Yeah, Sam had a little bit of a, a little bit of a moment on one of those corners near the bottom there. Wonder if uh, the camera on the front, my GoPro, uh, managed to catch it. But yeah, just uh, going on a left hander. I think he broke a little bit late, <laughs> caught the back end. It's kind of like, yeah, caught him off guard. Oh, I was behind him and I was feeling it. <laughs> I'll give him some space. Average 350. Strong. 40 minutes. Yeah. I'm dying now. <laughs> you were pleased, coach. 333. 333. Not bad. You were the rabbit, the hair never caught. No, I was trying to go for the actual carrot. Thing is, he's wearing orange. Oh, I can see you just above. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that again in a hurry. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we definitely got here just in time, didn't we? With uh, coaches. coaches turning up. Um, everyone's standing in the middle of the road. Bloody well annoying. Were you, uh, were you going under the, you know, the rock kind of uh, yeah. like cave bit when they were trying to have a photo all the way across the road? <laughs> Final day of the trip and uh, yeah, feeling a little bit tired today, um, but we've only got about 65, 70k to do. Uh, we've won one climb, um, uh, I think it's a Col de Bataille, or ba Bataille, Col de Bataille, um, which climbs up towards the, the rest bowl, uh, the famous kind of rest bowl garage um, at the top of the climb. Um, and yeah, and then we're gonna stop for lunch and stuff. Um, so yeah, kind of final time to kind of have a little bit of smash up a, up a climb. Um, I think that climb is about seven seven k or so, um, and climbs to about five hundred meters. Um, so yeah, it's only around about I think it's like five and a half six percent average. Um, so nothing too savage. It's been a long week. I think I've done so so far. I think I've done about five hundred and forty k. Um, while we've been here, so uh, yeah, been over a thousand TSS uh, in the legs already. Um, and yeah, uh, yesterday, uh, which I didn't film, didn't take the GoPros out yesterday, um, um, we headed over towards Solaire, climbed up the Col of Femenia, um, then up uh, the backside of the Pig de Mure, uh, descended down the Pig de Mure, had lunch in Solaire, then did the uh, Col de Solaire from the, uh, from the north side. Um, which had like a hell of a lot of uh, switchbacks. Uh, I think it was like I think it's 30 switchbacks yeah, in total, and then um, descended down, did one more climb, uh, and then a bit of a bash back into uh, Port de Blenser. <laughs>
was good. Uh, I enjoyed that climb. It's a nice one to finish off the week. Week in Mallorca is uh, nearly an end. It's been a, a great week. Lots and lots of climbing. Oh, well, I can't even work out how much elevation we've done. But yeah, the climbs out here are just absolutely brilliant. Uh, maximum gradients on some of the climbs are like 10%, which is like usually the minimum gradient you get in Yorkshire. So uh, it's been, uh, been good. Kind of love those kind of uh, those gradients. When it's like five, six percent, you can stick it, you can stay in the big ring, and it's kind of yeah, get the power out, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, it's good for kind of me, a slightly heavier cyclist. And the only place I really have it to compare it to is, uh, yeah, apart from back home, is Tenerife, where we went a couple of years ago. Yeah, I was a little bit not as fit as I am now when I was in Tenerife, but I definitely think for like a casual cyclist or like an amateur kind of kind of cyclist i think Mallorca is much better than tenerife i think tenerife is great for pro cyclists or elite cyclists where you can get some decent training in uh, on those like, longer climbs here where the climbs are like seven or eight kilometers long it's really good so like 25 30 minute effort it's not too bad but when you're climbing for like two hours in tenerife yeah, it's pretty crap. Yeah, I've been pretty happy with my legs this week. I've been able to, yeah, I've been like mid-pack, um, which in Tenerife I was definitely way off the back. So uh, yeah, it's good to see that improvement in the last two years. Yeah, climbing strong, even though I'm still much heavier than everyone else. But yeah, Mallorca, great place to come. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, so yeah, we were staying in Porto Plenza which is a yeah, great place, uh, kind of at the bottom of the Col de Femenia. So we've done that climb quite a few times. I think that's probably one of my favorite uh, in the area. And uh, that's where I'm heading now, heading towards the Col de Femenia to uh, kind of do the last descent of the trip. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you got this far, what are you playing at? Hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, it really helps, helps me out and um, helps the channel out. In the next couple of weeks, I've got the episode two of the Tour de Coffee. So yeah, look out for that. Thanks for watching. See you next week.